Welcome back, traders. Uh, it is uh, Wednesday, September the 7th, 2022, day two in a row of making videos. I'm so proud of myself. Uh, we are back again for our next weekly review video. This is for the week of August the 8th, 2022. Let's jump right into it, folks. This is our uh, trading results for the week of August the 8th, 2022. 30 total trades taken in our trading room, official trades taken in our trading room over this week. Uh, this is the first time ever doing one of these reviews that I've had to shrink the font down uh, to be able to fit all of the trades that we did in a single day. I don't think we've ever had a single day. Well, I know we haven't because I've never had to sh shrink the font down before, uh, but a lot of trades that we put on on Monday. Our SSO trade, which we do every day, uh, we were in a nice little uh, bull trend here this week of August 8th, and so that worked out fairly well for us all week long. $85 profit there. We did do a couple of zero DTEs right off the bat, uh, with the, the NDX and the SPX, we booked profits fairly quickly on those. Uh, had our IWM Credit Strangle as, whether, as well as our 4 DTE Spy and Q trades. We put those on every Monday or try to put them on, reinitiate them every Monday. Uh, all three of those worked out quite nicely, especially the Q. The Q trade worked out really, really well. Uh, our weekly PayPal Credit Strangle uh, did its job once again. We had an overnight ES trade that was pretty solid. It was a pretty decent size trade, 9K into a uh, balance, uh, buying power wise. And then uh, we finished out the day with another zero DT. So we had three zero DTEs on Monday for $320 profit. We did an earnings trade, overnight earnings trade on win, uh, which resulted in $29 profit and a butterfly at the end of the day, about 250 bucks into the trade. And we were able to uh, garner 175 out. To disregard the extra dollar sign there. Uh, solid day overall for us. You know, what's interesting is I think two takeaways for this day. Number one is everything was profitable. Eh, we're not always going to have that take place, but it is. it does, I think, speak somewhat to our approach and our strategy when you can have these many trades in one day and uh, they're all disparate type trades. Some are bearish, some are bullish, some are, uh, you know, different strategies and they all worked out. So that must mean something, right? Got to got to give us credit for something there. And the other thing though is that, you know, with the exception of a couple of these, you know, $500 there, $400 there, most of them were pretty small profits, but at the end of the day, you, you put 2000 bucks in your pocket. So anyway, Monday was obviously a really good day. Tuesday, uh, we had a few more trades going on. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays are our scalping days. It's a pretty darn good day overall. Uh, I was, I think, up seven or $800 at one point, gave enough of that back that I finally said uh, no mas and stopped uh, for the day with $340 profit. Our SSO trade brought in a little bit more that day. Our zero DTE for the day was a home run, 11,000 buying power in $1,200 profit back. Anytime you can get double digits on your zero DTEs, that's fantastic. Uh, we had an overnight one DTE ES trade on the futures contract, 4,000 in, uh, a th almost 1,000 profit back out. That one was really, really big. Uh, and then we did another butterfly on the SPX, 170 bucks into it, and it made it made us a $45 profit. So again, a, a $2,000 plus dollar day, 2,500 bucks profit on the day. Very nice start to the week. Uh, Wednesday, we had a zero DTE with $180 of profit in it. Um, a fairly low capture rate, but still 180 bucks. Our SSO trade uh, blew it out of the park that day. Um, uh, we had another zero DTE with NDX, a little bit more buying power in that one, $14,000 for a $600 profit. Again, not an amazing capture rate, but $600 is $600. Uh, we did have a one uh, DTE, a, a overnight ES trade, once again with $1,158. On, we should, don't need the K in there either. Uh, sorry for my sloppy PowerPoint. Um, uh, brought in 80, 85 bucks. 
on the $1,100 trade. Uh, and then we did uh, on Wednesday, we did do a little scalping as the CPI number came out. We used one E-mini futures contract and we're able to bring in $300 on it. So all in all, it was a really good day, about $1,300 profit on the day on Thursday, on Wednesday. Thursday, uh, we had another profit on our SSO trade. We initiated a zero DTE with the SPX. That one was um, pretty much picture perfect. Uh, they don't get much more textbook than this. $9,000 into the trade, $900 profit. Scalping on Thursday, uh, $5,000 buying power for one E-mini contract. Great day. Uh, my goal is $500 to $1,000 profit. Uh, sometimes you make that, sometimes you don't, but it, it was a solid day on Thursday. Uh, we had a pairs trade that finally came to fruition. Now, these pairs trades, they're amazing trades. Uh, we haven't had a single losing one yet, but I have struggled to get enough buying power committed to the trades before they hit our take profit levels. So I had a whopping $256 committed, a buying power committed to the trade. We had an $11 profit. You may think, well, that's not very great, but it was a 4.2% profit in seven days. You know, had I had 25,000 in there, this number would look a lot more impressive, but whatever it is, you know, 4.2% in seven days, you, you, you got to be happy with that. So again, almost a $1,700 day. Uh, really, again, just this was a, sell, a solid, solid week for us. Uh, Friday, uh, another profit in the SSO. We had two more zero DTEs. This was a, we, we did a lot of zero DTEs this week. Uh, doubled up on, uh, I think, uh, three of the five days uh, during the week. Uh, had a zero DTE for $4,000 of buying power on the SPX that we just barely got out with this, barely, barely, barely uh, got out with a profit. That was slipping very quickly. I think we were up at like $400 at one point and it started slipping away fast. Very fortunate on this one to pull out any profit of any kind. Uh, zero DTE on the NDX, 6,000 in, and uh, cool. we ended up rolling that one to Monday. So you'll see that on next week's review. I uh, had another pairs trade uh, profit that we booked, uh, FTI and NUV. Uh, I had a whopping $56 invested in a buying power invested into this trade, which yielded a $2.70 profit. Uh, which again, uh, this is probably the more uh, impressive part, 4.8% return in eight days. Uh, I really need to do a better job of getting more of my buying power initiated into these pairs trades up front. Uh, and I've been doing that right now. Uh, we are uh, reviewing the week of August 8th. And right now we're, you know, almost uh, a third of the way or, or yeah, about a third of the way, I guess, uh, through the month of September. And the pairs trades that we put on this week, I'm, I'm doing a little bit better job getting more capital committed. So anyway, about a $256 day uh, on Friday. Uh, the, the cool thing, though, uh, is that this is pretty rare. Uh, maximum uh, buying power deployed on any given day was $16,000, not atypical there. Uh, $7,200 of average buying power deployed on each day. That's a little below average. And this is what's impressive. Anytime you can do this, anytime you can make more money in a week than you were trading. Come on, guys. I think it's impressive. <laughs> I think it's awesome, right? So uh, very nice. Uh, we do still have some trades, obviously, that are working, that are ongoing trades, but we will uh, uh, continue to follow those up. And as we book a loss or a profit on those, we will report on those as well. So uh, our updated performance uh, looks something like this at this point. As far as our uh, zero DTEs go, uh, we've got 100 days now of uh, zero DTEs in the book and 154 trades taken. Of the 154 trades taken, 149 are winners, five are losers. We don't have any open, well, we uh, sorry, that's a typo. We do have the one NDX trade that is open and rolling right now. Um, again, remember that you guys can always access members of our Discord chat room, can always access the private video link. Every one of our Zoom trading sessions is recorded for 
review. So make sure that you're using that feature. Uh, but obviously, pretty darn good start uh, to the year. Um, it's 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 going to be pretty much uh, almost impossible to get better than where we're at right now with a win loss ratio. Our Ford ETE trades; those were both successful this week. So we go up to 102 wins with seven losses. Our IWM Credit Strangle trades. Surprise, surprise! Once again, uh, we get a winner. Uh, it just uh, it just keeps rolling. This has been just a, a, an absolutely amazing trade. It's really, really hard. If you look at our IWM weekly credit strangle trade and uh, you don't like it, you're not impressed with it, you think you can do better, uh, you haven't been trading for very long because it's really impressive. It really is what we've been doing with that. We got uh, two more pairs trades in, so uh, we're up to 23 trades total. Every single one of them has been a winner. Not a big dollar amount, uh, but we're working. We're working on that to get more capital committed to those trades. Uh, no new bear trades that we have initiated. We're up to four of the uh, positive Vega credit, uh, credit spread trades. Those are working out quite nicely, but again, those are more long-term trades. We need to let the ladders all expire. Uh, I don't really know quite how to report those whether I should do it on a quarterly basis or a semi-annual basis, but we'll start reporting results here as we get a few more in. We probably need to get four to eight more in to really see the overall results. Um, our Tuesday, Thursday, zero DTE sessions, where we try to utilize butterflies, uh, we've had 27 total trades, uh, 26 uh, of those were winners, one was a loser. Scalping results, well, pretty solid week for scalping. Um, I think most people, if you said, hey, would you you know, like an extra $1,000 this week, most people would say yes. Uh, and that's what I was able to garner from scalping this week. Uh, dragonflies and double diagonals, no new uh, trades there. Uh, and our SSO trade, again, sort of like the uh, positive Vega trades. Uh, I think probably going to be reporting those every six months or so as we get a little bit more data in. Now, uh, we have recently started some new categories and uh, they, they actually did not exist back here in August as we are, re are reporting results right now, but we're doing them now in September. So I've got the categories here, but we don't have any results for them yet. We're doing an overnight e-mini trade. We call it the $100 overnight trade. The goal is to bring in $100 a night. That's been a great trade. Uh, we're doing a gold ladder where we put on one to two gold trades uh, at a time uh, and ladder those trades. Uh, we're only two trades in on the gold trades, but both of them have been really, really successful so far. And uh, I think uh, I, I've got high hopes for those. Uh, we're doing an oil ladder trade as well. Uh, we're in one right now that just got whacked today as oil came down, uh, something fierce, like four or five points on the CL. But uh, nevertheless, uh, I think it's important for us to trade non-equity correlated assets. We got the oil trade and we'll start reporting those results too as we catch up with our reviews here. Uh, and then in addition to that, of course, we have the uh, an investing program, not the trading program, the investing program, AST, Asymmetric Trading System. It's really hard. Uh, you know, the, there, are, uh, uh, there are family offices that are privately run, but of the publicly uh, uh, tracked hedge funds from last year, there were two hedge funds in the entire world last year that beat our results based on a sharp ratio. And uh, we are doing better this year based on a sharp ratio, again, than we did last year. So it's just a absolutely fantastic investment program. Uh, we've just been waxing the market uh, and the more the market goes down, the better off we are in the program. So uh, that was our review for the week. Pretty solid week overall. Uh, we do have a real, I stress real, free trial for any of you that would be interested in trying out either of our programs, the live trading room or the investing uh, asset allocation model, AST, the asymmetric trading system. Um, and uh, we do have the ability to give you a 200% money back guarantee. You try it out for the trial, you sign up, and you don't think it is absolutely amazing, uh, we'll give you 200% back, 200 times uh, back on what you uh, your, your monthly subscription was. So the question is always, who are 
uh, good fits for our trading rooms, the, whether it's the, the live trading room or it's the asymmetric uh, trading system, the asset allocation model. The live trading room is good for two people's, uh, two types of individuals. One is experienced traders, people that already know what they're doing. They don't need hand holding. They know how to trade. They've been trading. They know options. They know terminology. They know strategies. Um, but they need a systematic approach to trading. They need a business model to trade off of. They need to know, oh, today's Thursday, today's Monday, we're going to do this today. So if they need a business plan, if you need a strategy, if you need a one-on-one -on -one mentor, if you need to be able to talk to somebody that is a professional trader and has been for 35 plus years, um, and you can do that every day, that might be a fit for you as well. If you need higher level strategies, if you are at a point where you're like, man, there's got to be something out there strategy wise that I've never seen or done. And I think we have that. I think we I, or take a lot of pride in bringing in what people consider to be very experienced traders and show them setups and strategies. And they're like, wow, you know, maybe in certain cases they've heard of them, but they haven't done them. If you need to move beyond zero DTE, if you are stuck in a program or an approach or a strategy of trading where all you're doing is zero DTE, I'm going to go ahead and say it's pretty much a recipe for failure. Um, there's no professional trader that I've ever met that's like, yeah, pick one strategy and just stick with that and grind that into the ground. Never ever alter from that. Don't diversify your approach to the market. Just take that one strategy and just keep grinding. Nobody thinks that's a good idea. So if all you're doing is zero DTEs and you need a little bit bigger expansion of your possibilities, then it might be a good choice. Uh, if you are already in a trading room uh, or a Discord chat room, um, there's probably a lot of upgrades, I think, that you could get with us. One is an actual real field free trial. Trials are where you try before you buy. If you have to pay money for a trial, hate to break it to you, that's not a trial. It's called a subscription. Uh, so you have to wonder, why would somebody not let you try out their system for free? Um, yeah, it's a little bit of a red flag, okay? Uh, real trades with real accounts in with real money. Uh, I never thought that this was a selling point until I saw what was out there and people trading in virtual trading accounts or not doing real trades, just talking about them, not showing their actual results, showing their entry price and their exit price and what the profit or loss was on that trade. To me, that was just obvious that it needed to happen from a transparency standpoint, but you will rarely see somebody show you their entry point, their exit point, and what the result was, profit or loss. Uh, all of our trades are time stamped. They are recorded. We have a live video feed that records everything that we do and you get unlimited playback of that. Uh, so I don't know that there is a way to be more honest, upfront, transparent in what we do. Good, bad, or indifferent. We lose money, we lose money, but you'll see it. You know, it's recorded for posterity's sake. Uh, a free one-on-one -on -one strategy session with the head trader. That's me. Um, I know a lot of trading programs out there, and I know that the I know the people that run them. They're amazing traders. They're amazing traders. And the couple that I know really well, they're actually pretty darn great human beings too. But you ain't never gonna talk to them. You're never gonna talk with them one-on-one. -on -one. And you're certainly not going to have sit down Zoom one on one strategy sessions with them. So if you feel like that's something you could benefit, we, we might be a good fit. Unlimited contact with your the head trader 24 hours a day. Again, everybody laughs at that. But when you get, I always tell everybody that starts one of our trials, first thing you want to do when you get into the chat room, ask the other members, uh, hey, if I send Scott a message at one in the morning or four in the morning, will he get back to me expeditiously? And uh, just see what they say, but because uh, we have members all across the world, pretty much every continent in the world, and we trade all day long. We trade all day long. Uh, we traded on uh, uh, Labor Day. We traded on Memorial Day. We trade futures when the, when the cash markets aren't open. Um, uh, market commentary every single day with trading levels and market biases every day. You should know before the market opens up what we're looking to do, how we're looking to approach it, and where our support resistance levels are. It's one of the most important things that we do to start our day. And I spend a lot of effort and time putting that research in every day for you guys. 
22 different trading strategies beyond the zero DTE. Guys, if all you're doing is the zero DTE, zero DTEs are great. We do one every day. We love them. But to, you know, hitch yourself to that wagon of, hey, I'm just going to do one strategy over and over again. Guys, it, it's not a smart way to go about building a trading uh, career. It's just not sustainable or consistent. So you need to move beyond just zero DTEs. If you're in a trading room and you're paying the money and all they're giving you is zero DTEs, you're, you're not getting what you pay for. You're not getting value. Uh, dynamic versus static zero DTE trades. Um, if uh, somebody is just throwing a trade on uh, and uh, uh, you know saying, hey, it's binary. It's either going to work or it isn't. We're going to put a stop loss in. Uh, the first thing I hear is stop loss. So what you're doing is if the trade doesn't work, you're guaranteed a loss. We don't trade like that. We're, we, we're, we're dynamic in our trades. I think we trade the zero DTE differently than anybody else. That's why you see the track record that I just showed you. I think that most people would be envious of that track record. It's because we don't trade statically. Uh, zero DTE setups with at least a thousand dollar daily profit potential. There's no guarantees in the stock market. I can't guarantee you anything other than potential. Um, we love butterflies. We trade butterflies every single week. We certainly would never ever establish a zero DTE trading strategy solely around a butterfly because we're serious about this. We are upset at the end of every day if we didn't put a thousand dollars in our prop in our pocket. Again, there's no guarantees in the marketplace, but I will tell you that there is a very rare occasion where we don't have the potential to make a thousand dollars a day. You're not going to do that with butterflies. Nobody is. So if you're serious about, if you just want to have fun, uh, and 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 it's a form of gambling for you, that's fine. You can stick with that. But if you want to get serious. Uh, you need to change your zero DTE setup. And then last but not least is the 200% guarantee. Um, I will include a link for the details of that. But if you will put your nose to the grindstone, guys, uh, I think most people who honestly can see, yeah, there's no guarantees, but I really every single day have the opportunity to make a thousand bucks. I think most people are pretty uh, blown away and happy by that. Good candidates for our AST system, uh, the asymmetric trading portfolio. Well, that's for investors, not traders. This is not a trading account. This is a passive system. It takes five minutes a day. There's no trading going on. We make two to 10 simple portfolio adjustments and then we set it and forget it. We, you, you, you put those orders in, two minutes into the market open, close your laptop, walk away for the day. You never look at it again during the day. It's for someone who's tired of excessive risk. If you uh, are, are, are risk adverse, and you're like uh, kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. And you're like, well, you know, I'm not making any money in my money market account. Can't put money in bonds. Those are getting killed. But uh, I don't want to put money in the stock market because it's so volatile. You know, market's down almost 20% so far this year. We're in a bear market. Well, this would be a good model for you. Uh, we have two goals with this system. A, beat the market's yearly returns as measured by the S&P 500. B, do it with less risk as measured by standard deviation or volatility. Standard deviation is just a measure of volatility. We generally come in um, uh, somewhere between 50 and 70% less volatile than the S&P 500. So again, it's uh, really focused on risk management. Uh, and then number three, someone who is mainly focused on results versus words. We have people in the AST program that, and I don't recommend this, this is not what I would recommend, but we have people following the program that have said, I don't understand what we're doing. I don't know what we're doing in here. But I have seen the monthly results as they are posted, and that's good enough for me. I, I've seen what we've done in uh, 2021 in a bull market. I've seen what we are currently doing in 2022 in a bear market, and uh, they both are crazy impressive. So either way, uh, that might be something for you to check out. So if you are interested in uh, checking us out, hanging out with us for a little bit, uh, we'll, I'll drop a link in the description box below. That's our review for this week, guys. Thank you so much, uh, and I'll try to knock out another video tomorrow for you.